everybody must be excited to be here today. It's a great day. Maybe not for Albertans, though. Let's be clear, higher taxes, record debt, record deficits. For the past few weeks, we've been warning the Premier about the risk to Alberta's AAA credit rating that our policies have created. Clearly, we see that today. And today, our concerns have been confirmed. For the first time in a generation, our government, the people of Alberta, will borrow to cover day-to-day -day expenses. Under Premier Notley, Alberta's debt will reach almost $50 billion. That's right, $50 billion. After first pledging to balance the budget in, in 2017, Premier Notley has revised that twice in just the last five months. Her new promise is to balance the budget by 2020. This is unacceptable. In order to reach even that goal, half a decade away, government revenues will have to jump by an unprecedented 25%. The NDP's first budget is a complete fantasy. Albertans are hopeful and optimistic by nature. It's what makes our province the greatest place to live in the world. For an entire generation, there was no better place to live than in Canada. To invest, to do business, and even to raise a family than right here in Alberta. But with this budget, even the most optimistic Albertans have to be very, very concerned. The Wild Rose is very concerned. Within this budget are admissions of hard times, very hard times ahead. Unemployment in the private sector will continue to rise. Profits for businesses will continue to decline for a half a decade to come. As a result, Every Albertan will be poor because of this budget. And we know more taxes are just on the horizon. Yet this Premier has taken no meaningful action to restrain the growth of government. When families are hurting and the private sector sheds jobs, a realistic plan to get Albertans back to work and grow the economy should have been considered. The NDP and Premier Notley have not done that. They have not taken any steps to protect Albertans or Albertans' jobs. Alber Albertans will be disappointed with this budget, and frankly, I am too. I will turn this over to our finance minister, uh, critic, so he can uh, make some comments. Thank you. Well, hold on, I'm going to make a few more remarks before I answer questions. Sorry. Thank you, and I would uh, like to highlight some of the key, most concerning numbers contained within this budget. First. The NDP is still using the old government's funny money accounting to falsely claim that they are running a deficit of only $6.1 billion. Alberta's real deficit climbed to a number even higher than what the, fit, than what the Wild Rose projected, $9.7 billion for this fiscal year. This number is set to climb to a cumulative $26.8 billion by 2018. This is by far the largest deficit in Alberta's history. Second, Alberta's debt has already climbed to $11.9 billion, including an increase of $6.1 billion this fiscal year. With the NDP's own numbers, the debt is projected to reach $47.4 billion by 2019. Finally, tax increases are climbing for average Albertans thanks to the previous government and the new government. In total, taxes tax increases of $2.7 billion on everyone from Albertans to businesses to even beer drinkers should be readying for an impact on their pocketbook. 80% of this $2.7 billion increase in taxes will go straight to higher government wages and benefits. This is a slap in the face of everyday Albertans who face job losses. This is an economic experiment that will cost $512 million a year in new money to funnel in corporate welfare, to corporate welfare bureaucracies that will just end up costing taxpayers more in the end. So the Wild Rose Caucus knows that we need to follow the lead of everyday Albertans in times of instability and focus on balancing the pocketbook. There is no indication that this government seems concerned by our fiscal situation. Wild Rose will be holding the government to account and urging them to reconsider this risky ideological experiment.